Greetings. If you're reading this, then it's likely that the carriage driver has followed my instructions and has begun the journey back to your estate. It is also very likely that I am already in Hyclatia, as I asked the driver to drop me off in a village very near the Hyclatian border so that I could proceed on foot. I am terribly sorry for any distress that this decision might have caused you. As I can see by your attitude of determination, that you truly wished to help both my family and myself. But after much consideration, I found that the thought of losing not only my family members that I love, but also the potential for a harsh Hyclatian punishment to befall you for attempting to intercede. Well, to put things plainly, it was just too much for me to bear. I find it a more tolerable thought to entertain the idea that the only one who needs to sacrifice themselves should be me. I cannot say for certain whether or not the Hyclatians will be amiable to entertain my negotiations, but I can say for certain that I am not willing to have the blood of my family and those who I care about deeply on my conscience for a foolish decision that I choose to make. That's why I've decided that if the Hyclatians are unwilling to negotiate, that I will willingly participate in the battle of champions against their chosen warrior. In my mind, the worst outcome will be that I lose my own life, but the ones that I love will go free. The freedom and happiness in those around me is paramount in comparison to the fear that I have for my own safety. I know that you may think this is a rash decision, or that I'm being terribly rude in declining your incredibly selfless offer to help me in my journey. But you see, this was not a decision that was made from a place of ingratitude. In fact, there's no words that I could find to describe what your willingness to fight for not only me, but also my family, to whom you owe no loyalty. Well, there are no words to describe what that gesture means to me. And, had the stakes not been so high, and my confidence that the Hyclatians will not be so lenient, I would have gladly allowed myself to take you up on your offer to barter on me and my family's behalfs. But as I said before, I simply cannot bear to live with the idea of what punishment might befall you, should the Hyclatians enforce their own barbaric justice regarding the idea of an interloper in a matter of an executionary trial. <sighs> and please, do not think that it is not without a heavy heart that I have chosen to part ways with you. The decision weighed greatly on my mind and my spirit, as I turmoiled for hours with the choice. I wish it was with great certainty that I could tell you that I will one day return to the doorstep of your estate, but remorsefully and in good conscience I cannot. I will not say with certainty that the gods may not smile upon me and that I may not be shown a hand of mercy upon the completion of my attempts to free my mother and sister. Indeed, it is within reason to remain hopeful that I will complete this task, and then someday, return to your home. To you. You see, among the many things that I have left unsaid between us, there is one detail of which I regret keeping to myself most of all. Ah. <sighs> There are many things that I have held my tongue against, for fear of stepping out of line. Of all those things unsaid, the thing that I wish that I had said the most were about the things that I felt for you. The things that I wished that I could say to make you understand how I truly feel about you, and how I want to be a part of your life forever. You see, over the time that I've spent with you, I have felt a connection to you growing that I've never felt for anyone else. I can't say for certain, but if I were to guess, I would say that the connection that I feel to the feelings that I have for you would be, well, love. I've never felt the way that I do for anyone else, as I said before. 
I have felt love for others, yes. I have felt love for friends. For family. But truly, never the kind of love that I believe I have developed for you. And if that's inappropriate of me to say, then it's with great sincerity that I apologize if I have offended you. But if this truly were to be the last remaining mark that I have to leave as a memory of our time spent together, it would burden me that I would part ways with you while leaving these things unspoken. But it is also because of these feelings that you are too precious for me to endanger. And if fate should smile upon me, and I should find my way back to your door, I certainly hope that it would be with open arms, even if you don't feel the same type of love in return. It would be enough just to know that I can remain there with you, keeping you company in that vast emptiness. So please, do not be troubled for me. Remain hopeful that I may receive the blessing of the gods in my endeavors, so that one day, I may once again serve you and find my way back to your doorstep. Sincerely, Kalita of House Asphalia. Thank you.